This is the television. This is the internet. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. And yes, we have another host too, Erno. You fucking drunk. Why did you drink again? I told you not to drink before the show. Didn't I told you? Huh? Didn't I? Faggot. You never change. Hey, what is that? Hey, we got the very first fan mail! Dear Mr. Ossi Oyutkangas, also known as Talentless Faggot. I have seen what you are up to, you dickweed. Your video is going to be the biggest pile of cow dung in the history of the internet. No, in the history of the world. This video should be classified as hate crime against people with talent because they clearly serve only one purpose, making me and others with some kind of an IQ feel embarrassment to belong the same species as you. You and your stunts redefine horror. Many people have tried to recreate something as terrible as the genocide of Jews in World War II, and you are the only one who has succeeded. Now, where should I start? There is so much crap in your videos that I think my lifetime is not enough to point all the flaws. Your hat, your English, your whole appearance makes me wanna carve out my eyes with a rusty spoon and wish that I was born blind. In fact, after your films, I envy blind people. Some people see your films only as bad films, but you don't have to watch them. But I know what you are, you fucker. I know what you do when you shut the curtains. I know all your kind. You enjoy making other people suffer. You take great pleasure out of running over kittens with your faggot mobile with your faggot older to be chicken boy. Ah. Did you hear that? You try to promote this horrible garbage to poison the minds of our youth and corrupt them with your bullshit. But I'm not going to stand idle and watch it happen. I will fucking hunt you down, you fuck. Do you hear me? I will fucking tear out your heart, you redneck cow fucker. I know what you look like, but you don't have any idea who I am. So the situation favors me. Next time when you touch yourself and watch kitty porn, I might be behind you with a butcher's knife and whole lot of extra time in my hands. Then we'll have fun. I know I will. See you soon, spawn of Satan. Well, every time I have this kind of a feedback, I feel like I'm doing something very important. What is this all about? Well, let me tell you. This is the best word to describe the show. Let's dissect it more closely. Rust is rust in German, and I like rusty things. This part is also a favorite of Erno because it's almost like Prost. Cheers in German. Poder is power in Spanish. Tengo el poder. And of course everyone likes power. I'm not exception either. And the last part. Isms are very popular among the people right now, so they are a good choice to define the show too. All of them are available. Search from Google to find your favorite. 
But I remind you, all these isms define the show, not me. I rather wear a Mickey tie than any of these isms. It may be quite easy to see that as much as this is pure fun while messing up with the reality, it is also about the things I'm interested in. And I'm interested in a whole lot of things. To sort them out a bit, I've categorized them into several segments to make it all have more sense. All about Erno is about Erno, naturally. It's about his background, as you probably don't know much about his friends and adventures and so on. Erno, Erno, my friend. Erno has a lot of friends. Time to time we look into what he's been doing lately, so it's not just about his past. Getting lost is about, well, getting myself lost on purpose and solving the things I stumble across while doing so. It's more or less related to the traveling source of TV, even though you can also get lost at your own backyard. That hopefully gives this a bit more philosophical aspect to it. Trash Hour welcomes you to the rainbow side of the falls! It's about less spoken things of the human culture to please the ones who can at least laugh to over the top campiness and might enjoy to see the works of totally untalented people. Don't go out there. The monster must have gotten Mia. Well, if he has, there's nothing you can do about it. Like hell I can. So far, it is the only segment of Disgusting that has reviews on the similar manner as many other video podcasts of the net. Stay tuned to see how things turning in the future. <laughs>